Hey, greetings YouTube. This is performance reviews, though it looks like it could be the start of somebody else's videos. Um, I want to talk about a theory that has gone around and spread to other YouTubers. Some who are very credible, some who are not. We're not here to talk about that. I want to talk about the theory is that if you weigh a vacuum bag, it will tell you how much you've picked up on carpet. And I want to tell you why I don't believe that to be an accurate way of testing machines. And I hope to demonstrate this to you in the video. Now, the carpet I have right here, it's been vacuumed somewhat recently, but carpets shed fiber. Um, there we go. I knew there would be one here. So, so the reason when you weigh a vacuum bag for a pickup test, it's not going to be accurate is because carpets shed. So even if the vacuum is capable of picking up 100% of what you put down, there's always going to be an extra amount of carpet material. And whether that be the carpet fuzz like I just picked up, or the glue that holds the carpet together, or anything else, they're always going to shed. So I believe that test could possibly work on hard floor, but not on carpet. So doing that pickup test on carpet and then weighing the vacuum bag, I believe to be inaccurate and uh, redneck science at its best. Um, so I've got two machines here uh, and I'm using these two machines because I know the Henry has less, the cordless Henry has less power than the Zero G that's here and this hopefully can be reproduced. And I'm going to prove to you of course that the Zero G has less power than the Henry. Now ideally if we were going to do this in the most scientific way possible I would have numerous Henry's for more data, but I don't, and I'm unable to order uh, anything from them right now just because of uh, the whole C19 thing, though I'm sure that's only temporary. So, so for the basis of this experiment, we first had to start off by washing cordless Henry completely out. All of his accessories and stuff needed to be cleaned. And yes, that even includes the hose. So if we take a look right there, the uh, hose is going around in the washing machine. So all the stuff will be washed and let to dry probably for a couple days. So what I did was I completely washed out my Henry. So I want to show, show to you on camera my clean Henry hose, my clean Henry. And I've got a Henry bag here. Let's get a brand new bag right out of the box and let's weigh the bag. Let's turn on my wife's kitchen scale here. Let it turn on. And the Henry bag weighs 35 grams. Let's just give it one more. 35 grams. And so again, clean Henry. I washed everything out. So he is as clean and close to new as I can get for this test. You can see the filter is clean and he's got a brand new battery. And we're going to screw the hose on now. I also do want to show that I washed the accessories as well. So those have all been cleaned. All right, you can see that this accessory is clean and free of dust. Again, I'm trying to just show with a flashlight that this accessory is clean free of dust. So we know all these accessories are clean and good to go. So let's test the cordless Henry's working vacuum and let's test the Zero G as well. So we're testing the Zero G. About 43, 45 inches of working vacuum. So let's test Henry's working vacuum. To put these pipes together, make sure this is all the way closed. Let's test his working vacuum. He's much quieter. And his working vacuum is just about 20. 
So it is safe to say that cordless Henry, being a cordless vacuum, has half as much power as the Zero G. All that stuff can vary. So what we're gonna do now is the exciting part. We're gonna set cordless Henry here with the uh, clean pipes, clean wands. We're gonna set him right here. I'm going to vacuum the area in between the posts, if you're wondering why those are in the shot. So in between these two posts, we're gonna vacuum with the Zero G, and then we're going to vacuum with the cordless Henry. Um, and as was shown on the YouTube vacuum wars, the Zero G picks up very well. In fact, it kind of made him rethink his whole test because he always got over 100% uh, pick up with the zero G and he had never seen that before and again I'm doing this with two vacuums you can buy on the market that are widely available so you don't have to worry about I'm doing something special you can reproduce these results All right, we did two passes with the Zero G. Let's do uh, two passes with the Henry. Cordless Henry, just straight suction here. I'm gonna move them. And again, there's no brush roller. And we know that this machine makes half as much working vacuum. So let's pull Henry aside and let's see if he's picked anything up. All right. Henry has a huge bag, so trying to get him on the scale when it's not new and nicely folded. Let's tear out that. It's harder than I thought. And there you go. 36 uh, grams is what cordless Henry picked up or what the bag weight was. And we started off with what, 35, 34, something like that. Um, so you can see that even though cordless Henry has less power, he's still picked up after a machine that's known for its pickup. And the reason being, no vacuum picks up out of carpet 100%. You can get very close, and that's the idea, is you want your vacuum to be, you know, in the higher percentage, in the 90s. You want it to pick up 90% of what's in there. And that's kind of what carpet tests are done when we see them done in actual laboratories. Uh, like IRB or CRI or those sort of things. And I want to see real quick if you can see what's in the bag without cutting it open. But there, there is like some fine dust and hair and fuzz. I don't know if the camera's going to focus, but maybe right, maybe in this corner. Um, right here. If I can... You can see a little bit of some stuff right there. Again, not very much. This is very minute. We're talking about one or two grams. Again, just in this little yard, one foot by yard space we did um, to give you an idea, a difference uh, in terms of think, think about how pickup tests are done. So when you see somebody with a scale weighing their bag or weighing the dustbin and saying, oh, it picked up this much stuff of what I put down. No, the carpet is always producing um, particulate and material. So you really can't use carpet for a weighed pickup test. Again, you could use a surface that doesn't produce anything, but to my knowledge, at least, all carpet sheds a little bit. So that's my uh, two cents on pickup tests and why I don't actually use a scale. And I think anybody who does use a scale outside maybe a laboratory 
really is just doing it for fun. There's no merit to base one vacuum stronger than the other because if I did that same test with the scale here, you would see, uh, you might conclude that cordless Henry is stronger if I didn't show you the numbers when I first started. Um, so as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, tune in for the rest of our series on pickup tests. I'm going to be doing a few little myth busters here uh, down the line, so stay tuned. New videos every Saturday and every Wednesday. Thumbs this video up, and if you can't wait in between videos, go check us out on Instagram. Have a wonderful day.